The Passive Income Playbook Strategies for Financial Freedom Written by Ronnie Rowland Narrated by Roman Cross Published by Growth Literacy Lounge Introduction Investing in income-producing assets is a smart approach for those looking to grow their wealth and secure a stable financial future. Whether you're an experienced investor or just starting out, understanding the benefits of passive income can help you make informed investment decisions. In this guide, we'll delve into various income-producing assets that can provide consistent cash flow and help you achieve financial freedom. From real estate and dividend stocks to peer-to-peer -peer lending and online businesses, the opportunities to generate passive income are vast and varied. Each asset class offers unique advantages and potential returns, allowing you to diversify your investment portfolio and reduce risk. By focusing on assets that generate regular income, you can create a reliable financial foundation that supports your long-term goals. One of the primary benefits of income-producing assets is the potential for steady cash flow. Unlike investments that rely solely on capital appreciation, these assets provide ongoing income that you can either reinvest or use to cover your living expenses. This consistent income stream can offer financial stability and flexibility, allowing you to navigate economic uncertainties with greater confidence. For instance, real estate investments have a proven track record of appreciating over time while providing rental income. Similarly, dividend-paying stocks offer regular payouts, which can be reinvested to compound your returns. I yield bonds, peer-to-peer -peer lending, and franchise ownership are other avenues that can deliver substantial income while also contributing to portfolio growth. We've noticed that 74% of you watching our videos haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Help us grow by hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for inspiring us to keep creating content for you. Let's begin. Chapter 1. Online Business and E-Commerce the Internet has revolutionized the business landscape, presenting incredible opportunities for entrepreneurs. An online business offers a fantastic avenue for individuals aiming to diversify their income streams. With low overhead costs and the ability to reach a, reach a global audience, the potential for growth and profitability in the digital world is immense. One of the primary advantages of an online business is its ability to connect with a vast array of customers worldwide. Unlike traditional brick-and-mortar stores, an online business isn't confined by geographical limitations. This global reach opens up limitless possibilities for expansion and income generation. There are numerous paths to explore within the realm of online business. E-commerce, for example, involves selling products or services online through platforms like Amazon or Shopify. Given the continuous exponential growth of the e-commerce industry, this niche holds substantial potential. Alternatively, creating a website or blog to generate income through advertising, sponsored content, or affiliate marketing is another viable option. By providing valuable and engaging content, investors can attract a significant following and monetize their online presence through various advertising networks or partnerships with brands. Digital services also present lucrative opportunities. Offering services such as web design, copywriting, or social media management can be highly profitable, especially with the rising demand for these services. Establishing a reputable online agency can lead to a steady stream of income with minimal overhead costs. However, the allure of online business comes with its own set of challenges. The online marketplace is fiercely competitive, and building a strong online presence requires dedication, savvy marketing, and staying current with technological advancements. Moreover, it's crucial to consider the scalability and sustainability of the chosen online business model. Before making any investments, it's essential to evaluate market demand, potential profitability, and long-term growth prospects. Lesson 1. Drop Shipping So, what exactly is drop shipping? This business model allows entrepreneurs to sell products without the need to keep inventory. Instead, the entrepreneur partners with a supplier who manages inventory, packaging, and shipping. This setup allows investors to focus on marketing and customer acquisition, reducing overhead costs and streamlining logistics. Drop shipping has gained popularity due to its low entry barrier. It offers a significant advantage over traditional retail businesses, enabling investors to start with minimal capital and without the need for inventory storage. 
all you need is a laptop and an internet connection to set up an online store and start selling products sourced from various suppliers. Another appealing aspect of drop shipping is its flexibility. Investors can choose which products to sell, focus on specific niches, and grow their business at their own pace. The variety of products available is vast, ranging from trendy accessories to innovative gadgets, catering to diverse consumer preferences. Drop shipping also offers the benefit of being able to operate your business remotely. This global flexibility allows you to tap into international markets, stay abreast of global trends, and diversify your income sources. However, it's essential to remember that drop shipping isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. Like any other investment, it requires careful planning, thorough market research, and continuous optimization. To build a successful drop shipping business, understanding consumer behavior, identifying profitable niches, and mastering digital marketing techniques are crucial. Utilizing effective SEO strategies, social media campaigns, and customer relationship management can drive traffic and increase conversions. Lesson 2. Affiliate Marketing Affiliate marketing is a business model where individuals earn commissions by promoting and selling products or services offered by other companies. For investors, affiliate marketing presents an excellent opportunity to expand income streams and leverage existing assets for additional revenue. One of the main advantages of affiliate marketing is its accessibility for beginners. It doesn't require a significant amount of capital or specialized skills to get started, making it a viable option for almost anyone. With a platform like a website or blog, creating valuable content and recommending products or services to your audience becomes straightforward. For example, real estate investors can suggest property management software real estate investment training programs, or home decor products through their online presence. By partnering with reputable companies, investors can earn commissions for each purchase made through their affiliate links. Affiliate marketing allows investors to leverage their expertise in specific niches, such as electronics, health and wellness, or fashion, earning commissions on each sale. Financially savvy investors might promote high-yield bonds, index funds, or peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms partnering with financial institutions or online trading platforms to generate significant commissions. It's essential to note that success in affiliate marketing requires dedication, thorough research, and effective marketing strategies. Choosing affiliate partners carefully, ensuring the products or services align with your audience's interests and needs, and regularly monitoring performance metrics are key to maximizing returns. Lesson 3. Private Labeling Private labeling involves purchasing products from manufacturers and branding them with your own label for resale. This approach allows investors to develop a unique brand identity, build customer loyalty, and gain a competitive edge in the market. By leveraging private labeling, investors can tap into various niches and industries, offering a wide range of products to their target audience. One significant advantage of private labeling is the potential for generating passive income. With a strong brand and effective marketing strategy, investors can enjoy consistent revenue without the need for constant involvement in daily operations. Real estate investors, for example, can differentiate their rental properties by offering unique amenities and services, attracting high-quality tenants, and commanding higher rental rates. In the online business and e-commerce world, investors can source high-demand products, brand them, and sell them on popular platforms, accessing a vast consumer market and generating substantial profits. Additionally, private labeling can extend to intellectual property such as books, music, or software. Investors can acquire rights to these assets, rebrand them, and license them to various platforms, earning royalties based on sales and usage. This strategy is particularly appealing for those who appreciate creative works and have an interest in intellectual property. The potential for growth and scaling in online businesses is immense, thanks to the increasing number of internet users and the convenience it offers to consumers. Opportunities abound in e-commerce, affiliate marketing, and digital products. However, understanding the strategies and techniques to effectively grow and scale an online business is crucial for success. Identifying a profitable niche is the first step. Conduct comprehensive market research to gauge demand and evaluate competition, ensuring the business has a unique selling proposition and a willing target audience. 
Establish a strong online presence through a user-friendly website or e-commerce platform, optimized for search engines and supported by social media and content marketing strategies. Implementing effective digital marketing techniques such as SEO, email marketing, and pay-per-click advertising can significantly boost online visibility and attract more customers. Diversifying income streams, expanding product offerings, forming strategic partnerships, and exploring new market segments can further enhance growth. Automation tools, outsourcing tasks, and optimizing operations are vital for managing increased demand. Customer satisfaction and retention should be a top priority. By delivering excellent service, ensuring timely deliveries, and actively seeking feedback, businesses can build a loyal customer base and benefit from positive word-of-mouth marketing. Staying updated with industry trends and technological advancements is essential in the ever-evolving online landscape. Investing in professional development, attending industry conferences, and networking with successful online entrepreneurs can provide valuable insights and drive business growth. With a proactive and informed approach, online business and e-commerce can be lucrative avenues for generating passive income and achieving financial freedom. Chapter 2. Owning a Franchise Franchising offers investors a unique opportunity to operate a successful business model under a well-established brand. This arrangement allows investors to benefit from the brand recognition, systems, and support provided by the franchisor significantly reducing the risks associated with starting a business from scratch. One of the primary advantages of franchise ownership is the comprehensive business package it offers. By purchasing a franchise, investors gain access to a proven business model, eliminating the need for extensive market research and product development. The established track record of the brand increases the likelihood of success, providing a sense of security and stability. Franchise owners also benefit from ongoing training and support from the franchisor. This support equips franchisees with the necessary tools and resources to thrive, from initial setup assistance to continuous operational guidance. Selecting the right franchise is crucial for a successful investment. When evaluating franchise opportunities, investors should consider their personal interests, experience, and financial goals. Conducting thorough research on the franchise's history financial performance, and the level of support provided by the franchisor is essential. Seeking advice from franchise consultants or attending Franchise Expos can offer valuable insights into the top franchises across various industries. Investing in a franchise usually requires a substantial upfront investment. Investors should carefully assess their financial capabilities and explore different financing options, such as bank loans, small business administration SBA loans, or partnerships with other investors. Performing a comprehensive financial analysis, including estimating the return on investment ROI and potential profitability, is vital before committing to a franchise. Lesson 1. Franchise Territory A franchise territory refers to the specific geographic area where a franchisee has the exclusive right to operate their franchise. This territory demarcation ensures there is no overlap of customer base or competition among franchisees within the same brand providing clarity and straightforwardness. The size and scope of franchise territories can vary greatly depending on the franchise and the agreement between the franchisor and franchisee. For investors interested in income-producing assets, having a clearly defined and thoughtfully planned territory is crucial. It helps maintain a steady stream of customers and reduces the likelihood of facing competition. Before investing in a franchise, it's important for investors to conduct thorough research and analysis of the franchise territory. Consider the demographic makeup of the area. Understanding the target market, consumer preferences, and spending habits within the territory can provide valuable insights into the income potential of the franchise. Conducting market research and analyzing demographic data can help investors identify untapped opportunities and tailor their marketing strategies accordingly. Furthermore, Evaluating the level of market saturation in the franchise territory is essential. While a densely populated area might seem attractive, it can also lead to increased competition from both within the franchise system and other businesses. Finding the right balance between population size and competition is key to ensuring sustainable growth and profitability. Investors should also review the terms and conditions outlined in the franchise agreement regarding territorial rights. 
Some franchisers may impose restrictions on expansion or limit the franchisee's ability to operate beyond their designated territory. Understanding these limitations is crucial for investors planning to grow their income-producing assets in the future. Lesson 2. Franchise Fees and Royalties Franchise fees and royalties are significant components of the franchise investment. The franchise fee is the upfront payment made by an investor to obtain the rights to operate a franchise. This fee encompasses various aspects, such as the use of the franchisor's brand name, trademarks, and business model. Before deciding to pay the franchise fee, it's important to conduct thorough research and fully understand the value that the franchisor is offering. By paying the franchise fee, investors gain access to a proven business model with a track record of success. This eliminates the need to start from scratch as the franchisor provides comprehensive training and ongoing support to ensure the franchisee's success. In addition to the franchise fee, franchisees are typically required to pay ongoing royalties to the franchisor. These royalties are usually a percentage of the franchisee's gross sales, paid on a monthly or quarterly basis. The fees serve as a source of revenue for the franchisor, who in turn provides brand recognition, marketing efforts, and continuous support to the franchisees. The royalty percentage can vary significantly depending on the franchise or in the industry. Some franchises have a fixed rate, while others may have a tiered system where the percentage decreases as sales increase. It's important for investors to thoroughly assess the royalty structure and costs to ensure they align with their financial goals and expected returns. The impact of franchise fees and royalties on the profitability of the investment and income-producing assets can be substantial. Carefully examining the financial projections provided by the franchisor and considering factors such as market potential, competition, and ongoing support is essential. Conducting due diligence and seeking professional advice can help investors make informed decisions and choose a franchise opportunity that maximizes their returns. Lesson 3. Support and Training Franchisers recognize that the success of their franchisees directly impacts the overall success of their business. As a result, they offer comprehensive support and training programs to ensure franchisees have the necessary tools to succeed in their new venture. Franchise support typically includes pre-opening assistance, ongoing operational support, and marketing guidance. Pre-opening support is crucial for franchisees, as franchisors work closely with investors to help them find suitable locations, negotiate leases, and set up their franchised units. They also assist with procuring equipment, inventory, and supplies, ensuring franchisees have a solid foundation before commencing operations. Once the franchise is up and running, ongoing operational support becomes vital. Franchisers provide comprehensive training programs covering various aspects of business operations, such as financial management, inventory control, and customer service. Regular updates on industry trends and changes in consumer behavior help franchisees stay ahead of the curve. This operational support helps investors navigate any challenges and optimize profitability. Marketing support is another key aspect of franchise support. Franchisers possess extensive marketing expertise and know how to effectively promote their brand. They provide marketing plans, advertising materials, and strategies that franchisees can easily implement. By leveraging the franchisor's marketing expertise, investors can effectively reach their target audience and save time and money on marketing efforts. Lesson 4. Managing a Franchise Business Managing a franchise business involves adhering to the franchisor's guidelines and operating procedures. Following the established methods significantly enhances the chances of success, as franchisors have dedicated significant time and resources to developing a successful business model. This encompasses everything from marketing strategies to employee training protocols. Maintaining a strong line of communication with the franchisor is essential. Regularly communicate any challenges or concerns and seek their guidance and support. The franchisor is invested in your success because it directly impacts their brand reputation. Keeping communication channels open allows you to leverage their knowledge and expertise to overcome challenges and ensure sustained growth. Proactively growing your franchise business is crucial. Explore ways to expand your customer base and increase revenue. Implement creative marketing campaigns, actively engage with the local community, and consider strategic partnerships. 
stay ahead of the competition by monitoring industry trends and making necessary adjustments to your business. Employee training and development are critical to the success of a franchise. Invest in training programs to ensure your employees provide excellent customer service, which is essential for your brand's reputation. A positive work environment and employee loyalty can lead to higher customer satisfaction and profitability. Regularly assess your financial performance and make data-driven decisions. Monitor key metrics such as revenue, profit margins, and customer retention rates. Identifying areas for improvement and implementing strategies to enhance business operations can significantly boost profitability. Networking within the franchise community can provide valuable insights and opportunities for collaboration. Attend industry events and connect with other franchise owners to learn from their experiences and accelerate your own growth. Owning a franchise can be a lucrative way to generate income through income-producing assets. By leveraging the franchisor's support and training, adhering to established methods, and proactively managing and growing the business, investors can achieve financial success and build a stable income stream. Chapter 3 Getting a grasp on dividend stocks. Dividend stocks represent companies that distribute a portion of their profits to shareholders in the form of dividends. These dividends can be paid out regularly, such as quarterly or annually, providing investors with a steady stream of income. For those seeking a reliable cash flow, dividend stocks are an appealing choice. One of the significant advantages of investing in dividend stocks is the potential for long-term growth. Companies that pay dividends often have stable business models and consistent profitability, leading to a gradual increase in share prices over time. This combination of income and capital appreciation can result in substantial returns. Additionally, dividend stocks offer the benefit of passive income. Unlike other income-producing assets such as rental properties or online businesses, dividend stocks require minimal day-to-day -day management once the initial investment is made. This low-maintenance nature makes them an attractive option for investors looking to generate income without the burden of active management. Diversification is another key benefit of dividend stocks. By spreading investments across various companies and sectors, investors can enhance the stability of their portfolio and reduce exposure to specific risks. Moreover, many companies increase their dividend payouts over time to keep up with inflation, helping to preserve purchasing power. It's essential to note that not all dividend stocks are created equal. Before making an investment, it's crucial to analyze a company's financial health, dividend history, and overall performance. The dividend yield, which represents the percentage of the stock's price paid out as dividends, is an important metric to consider. While a higher dividend yield may seem attractive, it could also indicate potential risks or an unsustainable payout ratio. Lesson 1. Evaluating Dividend Stocks when evaluating dividend stocks, the first step is to assess the company's financial condition. Look for companies with a history of stable earnings and consistent dividend payouts. Reviewing financial statements such as the income statement and balance sheet can provide insights into the company's profitability, debt levels, and cash flow. Another crucial factor is the dividend yield. This metric calculates the annual dividend payment relative to the stock price. A higher yield suggests a greater potential return on investment, but it's essential to be cautious as extremely high yields might indicate an unsustainable dividend or an undervalued stock. It's also important to examine the rate of dividend growth. Companies that consistently increase their dividend payments over time demonstrate financial strength and a commitment to rewarding shareholders. A history of increasing dividends can potentially outpace inflation, safeguarding your purchasing power. The dividend payout ratio is another critical metric to consider. This ratio indicates the percentage of a company's earnings distributed as dividends. A sustainable payout ratio is typically considered to be less than 60 to 70 percent. A higher payout ratio implies that the company is distributing a significant portion of its earnings as dividends, potentially limiting opportunities for reinvestment and future growth. Finally, consider the company's industry and competitive position. Look for companies operating in stable or growing sectors with a competitive advantage, such as a strong brand, valuable patents, or unique products. 
Topos companies with a protective barrier around their business are more likely to maintain their dividend payments even during economic downturns. Lesson 2. Yield on Dividends For investors seeking reliable income, understanding the yield on dividends is crucial. The dividend yield represents the annual dividend payment as a percentage of the stock price. A higher dividend yield indicates a greater potential return, while a lower yield suggests a lesser return. In real estate, the yield on dividends can be compared to the rental income generated by a property relative to its market value. This metric provides investors with a clear understanding of the potential return on investment in rental properties. Similarly, in peer-to-peer -peer lending, the yield is based on the interest earned from lending money to borrowers. Comparing the yields provided by various lending platforms helps investors assess potential returns. For those involved in intellectual property, online businesses, or franchises, understanding the dividend yield helps in evaluating the profitability and potential returns of these investments. High-yield bonds and index funds also offer opportunities to take advantage of dividend yields. While high-yield bonds come with increased risks, index funds provide diversification and consistent income. In agriculture, the dividend yield can reflect the income generated from selling crops or livestock relative to the investment. Understanding the yield helps investors assess the profitability and potential returns of agricultural investments. Lesson 3. Rate of Dividend Growth the rate of dividend growth indicates the percentage increase in dividend payments over a specific period, typically annually. This rate provides valuable insights into a company's financial health and its ability to generate reliable and growing income for shareholders. A high dividend growth rate suggests substantial earnings growth and a willingness to share profits with investors. For income-focused investors, the rate of dividend growth is a crucial factor. Higher growth rates mean increasing cash flow over time, helping investors build wealth and achieve financial independence. However, it's important to consider other factors such as company fundamentals, market conditions, and risk tolerance alongside the dividend growth rate. In real estate, rental properties, or online businesses, analyzing the historical dividend growth rate can help estimate future income. For dividend stocks, index funds, and high-yield bonds, Understanding the growth rate provides insights into the performance of these assets. A reliable and growing dividend can be a strong indicator of a wise investment. Lesson 4. Dividend Reinvestment Plans Dividend reinvestment plans, or DRIPs, are investment programs that allow shareholders to reinvest their cash dividends into additional shares of the company's stock. This reinvestment can lead to significant growth over time as it leverages the power of compounding. DRIPs offer a unique advantage for income-seeking investors by providing an easy and straightforward way to grow wealth. By reinvesting dividends, investors can increase their overall investment value and generate more income in the long run. This automatic reinvestment process helps investors avoid market timing and focus on long-term growth. Investors can apply DRIPs to various income-producing assets such as real estate, stocks, lending properties, royalties, online businesses, bonds, funds, franchises, and agriculture. By reinvesting income earned from these assets, investors can accelerate their wealth-building journey. Another benefit of DRIPs is the opportunity to buy more shares at a lower price, enhancing potential returns. This makes DRIPs an appealing choice for investors focused on income. Additionally, DRIPs allow for gradual investment over time, reducing the impact of market volatility and providing a disciplined investment approach. Lesson 5. Dividend Aristocrats Index. Within the realm of income-producing assets, the dividend aristocrats represent a distinguished group of companies known for consistently and reliably rewarding their shareholders with growing dividends year after year. These companies are typically large, well-established firms with a solid history of financial stability and success. Dividend aristocrats have successfully navigated challenging economic conditions, market fluctuations, and industry changes, consistently achieving robust cash flows and profits. What sets them apart is their ability to distribute a portion of these earnings to shareholders as dividends. Investing in dividend aristocrats offers the benefit of a consistent income stream. These companies prioritize regular dividend payments, making them easy to understand and predict. This stability is especially appealing to investors seeking steady income, 
such as retirees or individuals looking for passive income. Moreover, dividend aristocrats have a track record of outperforming the overall market, providing both income and potential capital growth. By reinvesting the dividends received, investors can significantly grow their investment over time. One of the advantages of dividend aristocrats is their potential to act as a hedge against inflation. With companies consistently increasing their dividends, investors can keep pace with rising living costs, protecting their purchasing power over the long term. Dividend aristocrats can be found across various sectors, including consumer staples, industrials, healthcare, and technology. These companies often have long-lasting competitive advantages, well-known brands, and a proven ability to adapt to market changes. Investors can invest in dividend aristocrats either by purchasing individual stocks or through exchange-traded funds ETFs that track these top-tier companies. By diversifying across multiple dividend aristocrats, investors can enhance the income potential of their portfolio and reduce risk. Lesson 6. ETFs that focus on dividends. For investors looking to grow their wealth through income-producing assets, dividend ETFs are an excellent consideration. These investment vehicles offer a great chance to profit from consistent dividend payments while benefiting from the diversification and convenience of trading that comes with exchange-traded funds. Dividend ETFs are designed to mirror a particular index or a collection of dividend-paying stocks. By investing in these funds, you gain access to a diverse range of companies that regularly share their profits with shareholders. This strategy allows you to harness the potential of generating income without the hassle of selecting and managing individual stocks. One of the primary benefits of dividend ETFs is the consistent cash flow they provide. Dividends are usually distributed quarterly or annually, offering a dependable source of income that can enhance your investment returns. Dividend ETFs are highly appealing to investors who value stability and reliable payouts. Additionally, dividend ETFs offer exposure to a wide variety of sectors and industries. Whether you prefer real estate dividend stocks or agricultural ventures, there are dividend ETFs available to match your investment preferences. This flexibility enables you to diversify your income-producing assets, reduce risk, and maximize returns. Dividend ETFs typically have lower expense ratios compared to actively managed funds or individual stock portfolios. This cost efficiency can improve your overall investment performance by reducing the impact of fees on your returns. Adopting dividend ETFs allows you to increase your income while minimizing investment costs. Dividend ETFs provide a hassle-free solution for investors seeking simplicity and convenience. These funds can be easily bought and sold through brokerage accounts, offering accessibility and flexibility. This level of accessibility allows you to adjust your investment strategy to adapt to market conditions or personal financial goals. Investing in dividend stocks can be a rewarding strategy for generating passive income and building long-term wealth. By carefully selecting high-quality dividend-paying companies, understanding key metrics, and leveraging tools like DRIPS and ETFs, investors can create a reliable income stream and achieve financial freedom. Chapter 4 High-yield bonds. High-yield bonds, often referred to as junk bonds, offer an intriguing investment opportunity for those willing to embrace a higher level of risk in exchange for potentially greater returns. These bonds are typically issued by companies with lower credit ratings, meaning they come with a higher risk of default. However, the increased interest rates offered by high-yield bonds serve to compensate for this higher risk, making them an appealing option for investors seeking substantial income. One of the primary benefits of high-yield bonds is their ability to provide significant income. Investment-grade bonds, issued by companies with strong financial standings, tend to offer lower yields due to their lower risk. In contrast, high-yield bonds cater to companies that may be facing financial challenges or operating in riskier industries. Consequently, they offer higher yields to attract investors willing to take on the additional risk. Lesson 1. Evaluating High-Yield Bonds when considering high-yield bonds, it's essential to evaluate the credit quality of the issuer. High-yield bonds are issued by companies with lower credit ratings compared to investment-grade bonds. Assessing the issuer's financial health involves evaluating their ability to generate sufficient cash flow to cover interest payments. 
It's also important to consider the issuer's track record regarding default and bankruptcy rates to gauge the bond's risk level. Another critical factor is the bond's yield to maturity YTM. It represents the total return an investor can expect to earn by holding the bond until it matures, including both interest payments and any capital gains or losses. A higher YTM suggests a greater potential return, but it also indicates a higher level of risk. Investors need to determine if the potential return justifies the additional risk. The bond's duration is also important to consider, as it indicates how sensitive the bond is to interest rate changes. Bonds with longer durations are more affected by fluctuations in interest rates, which can impact their market value. Investors should assess if the bond's duration aligns with their risk tolerance and investment goals. Conducting thorough research on the industry and market conditions in which the issuer operates is crucial. Economic factors, market trends, competition, and regulatory changes can significantly impact the issuer's ability to meet its financial obligations. Staying informed about these factors allows investors to make more informed decisions regarding their high-yield bond investments. Lesson 2. Credit Ratings Credit ratings are a critical tool for evaluating the risk associated with high-yield bonds. These ratings are provided by credit rating agencies, such as Standard Poor's, Moody's Investors Service, and Fitch Ratings, which assess the financial health and debt repayment capacity of the issuing entity. Higher credit ratings indicate lower risk and greater financial stability, while lower credit ratings suggest higher risk and potential difficulties in meeting debt obligations. For investors seeking income-producing assets, understanding credit ratings is essential. For example, when investing in rental properties, it's important to evaluate the creditworthiness of potential tenants to ensure a stable and dependable rental income. Similarly, in peer-to-peer -peer lending or high-yield bond investments, Grasping the credit ratings of borrowers helps in assessing the potential return and associated risks. Credit ratings also influence the cost of financing for real estate investments or franchise ownership. Lenders typically evaluate borrowers' creditworthiness to determine interest rates and loan terms. Higher credit ratings can result in more favorable loan terms, ultimately maximizing the return on investment. Lesson 3. Yield to Maturity Yield to maturity YTM represents the total return an investor can anticipate from a fixed income investment over its entire duration, assuming all interest and principal payments are made as scheduled. This calculation considers the investment's current market price, annual interest rate coupon rate, and the remaining time until maturity. YTM is expressed as an annual percentage rate, APR. Understanding YTM is crucial for comparing investment options. For instance, a high-yield bond might offer a higher YTM, indicating a greater potential return over time. However, it also suggests a higher level of risk. Comparing the YTM of different income-producing assets allows investors to make more informed decisions about where to allocate their capital. Lesson 4. Risk of Default Default risk is a significant consideration when investing in high-yield bonds. This risk arises from the possibility that the bond issuer might fail to make interest or principal payments as scheduled. High-yield bonds, due to their lower credit ratings, are more susceptible to default compared to investment-grade bonds. Understanding and managing default risk is essential for investors. Diversifying investments across various issuers and industries can help mitigate this risk. Constructing a well-rounded portfolio of high-yield bonds can provide a safeguard against potential defaults and reduce the overall volatility of the investment. Lesson 5. High-Yield Bond Funds Investing in high-yield bond funds can be a strategic approach to mitigate some of the risks associated with individual high-yield bonds. These funds pool investor capital to invest in a diversified portfolio of high-yield bonds, spreading the risk across multiple issuers and sectors. High-yield bond funds offer several benefits, including professional management, diversification, and liquidity. By investing in a fund, investors gain access to a broader range of high-yield bonds than they might be able to purchase individually. This diversification helps reduce the impact of any single issuer's default on the overall portfolio. Professional management ensures that the fund is actively monitored and adjusted based on market conditions and the performance of the underlying bonds. This expertise can be particularly valuable in navigating the complexities and risks associated with high-yield bonds. 
Additionally, high-yield bond funds offer greater liquidity compared to individual bonds. Investors can buy or sell shares of the fund on the open market, providing flexibility to adjust their investment strategy as needed. Lesson 6. Economic and Market Conditions High-yield bonds are particularly sensitive to economic and market conditions. During periods of economic growth, companies with lower credit ratings may find it easier to meet their financial obligations, resulting in lower default rates and more attractive returns for investors. Conversely, during economic downturns, these companies may struggle to make payments, increasing the risk of default. Market volatility can also impact high-yield bonds. Changes in interest rates, investor sentiment, and overall market conditions can cause fluctuations in bond prices. Investors must stay informed about economic indicators and market trends to make well-informed decisions about their high-yield bond investments. High-yield bonds offer a compelling opportunity for investors seeking substantial income. While they come with higher risks compared to investment-grade bonds, the potential for greater returns can make them an attractive addition to a diversified portfolio. By carefully evaluating the credit quality of issuers, understanding key metrics such as yield to maturity, and considering economic and market conditions, investors can make informed decisions and effectively manage the risks associated with high-yield bonds. Diversifying investments, conducting thorough research, and staying informed about market trends are essential strategies for success in high-yield bond investing. With a balanced approach and a clear understanding of the risks and rewards, high-yield bonds can play a valuable role in generating income and building long-term wealth. Chapter 5. Peer-to-peer -peer lending. Peer-to-peer -peer lending, also known as P2P lending or marketplace lending, has emerged as a modern alternative to traditional banking. This innovative financial model connects individual borrowers with lenders through online platforms, bypassing traditional financial institutions. For investors, P2P lending offers the potential for higher returns compared to traditional savings accounts or bonds while providing borrowers with more accessible funding options. Lesson 1. The Benefits of Peer-to-Peer -peer Lending One of the main advantages of P2P lending is the potential for significant returns. By cutting out traditional financial intermediaries like banks, P2P platforms can offer higher interest rates to both lenders and borrowers. For lenders, this translates into a higher return on investment, often surpassing the rates available from traditional savings accounts or government bonds. P2P lending platforms provide investors with the opportunity to diversify their portfolios by spreading their investments across multiple loans. This diversification helps to minimize the risk of default and potentially enhances overall returns. The ability to select specific loans based on the borrower's credit worthiness, loan purpose, and risk tolerance gives investors greater control over their investment choices. Additionally, P2P lending offers a level of accessibility that benefits both borrowers and lenders. Traditional lending institutions often have strict criteria and lengthy approval processes, making it difficult for many individuals and small businesses to secure loans. P2P lending platforms, on the other hand, use technology and data analysis to assess borrowers' creditworthiness more efficiently, making funding more accessible to a broader range of individuals. For lenders, these platforms provide an easy-to-navigate interface for selecting and investing in loans that match their risk preferences. This streamlined process allows investors to build a diversified portfolio with minimal effort, making P2P lending an attractive option for those seeking passive income. Lesson 2. Evaluating Peer-to-Peer -peer Loans When investing in P2P loans, it's crucial to evaluate the creditworthiness of potential borrowers. Although platforms typically perform rigorous credit assessments, there is still a risk of loan defaults. Investors should carefully review the borrower's credit history, income, employment status, and the purpose of the loan to make informed decisions. P2P lending platforms often categorize loans into different risk grades, with higher risk loans offering higher potential returns. Investors need to balance the desire for higher yields with the increased risk of default associated with lower grade loans. Diversifying investments across various risk grades can help manage this risk. Another important consideration is the platform's track record and reputation. Investors should choose well-established P2P lending platforms with a history of positive performance and robust risk management practices. Reading reviews, 
Analyzing platform statistics and understanding the platform's default rates can provide valuable insights into its reliability. Lesson 3. Understanding interest rates and fees. P2P lending offers attractive interest rates, but it's important for investors to understand how these rates are determined and what fees may apply. Interest rates on P2P loans are typically higher than those offered by traditional financial institutions because they reflect the higher risk associated with lending to individuals and small businesses without extensive credit histories. Platforms usually charge fees for their services, which can include origination fees, servicing fees, and late payment fees. These fees can impact the overall return on investment, so it's essential to factor them into the decision-making process. Understanding the fee structure of a P2P platform can help investors accurately assess potential returns and choose the most cost-effective options. Lesson 4. Risk Management Strategies Managing risk is a critical aspect of successful P2P lending. One effective strategy is diversification. By spreading investments across multiple loans with different risk profiles, investors can reduce the impact of any single loan default on their overall portfolio. Diversification helps to smooth out returns and provides a more stable income stream. Another important strategy is to regularly monitor and review the performance of your P2P lending portfolio. Keeping track of loan repayments, default rates, and changes in borrower circumstances can help investors make timely adjustments to their investment strategies. Many P2P platforms offer tools and resources to assist with portfolio management, making it easier for investors to stay informed and proactive. Investors should also consider setting aside a portion of their returns as a contingency fund to cover potential losses from defaults. This conservative approach can provide an additional layer of financial security and help maintain the overall health of the investment portfolio. Lesson 5. Regulatory Considerations P2P lending operates in a less regulated environment compared to traditional banking, which presents both opportunities and challenges. The regulatory landscape for P2P lending varies by country and jurisdiction, and investors should familiarize themselves with the specific regulations governing the platforms they choose to use. Understanding the regulatory framework can help investors navigate potential risks and ensure compliance with local laws. Additionally, staying informed about changes in regulations and industry standards can provide insights into the evolving landscape of P2P lending and its impact on investment strategies. Lesson 6. Social and Economic Impact Investing in P2P lending not only offers the potential for attractive returns, but also provides an opportunity to support economic growth and social development. By funding loans for individuals and small businesses, investors can contribute to job creation, innovation, and financial inclusion. This positive social impact can be a rewarding aspect of P2P lending, aligning financial goals with broader societal benefits. Peer-to-peer -peer lending presents a compelling investment opportunity for those seeking higher returns and greater control over their investment choices. By understanding the benefits, evaluating loans carefully, managing risks, and staying informed about regulatory considerations, investors can effectively incorporate P2P lending into their portfolios. The ability to diversify investments, earn attractive interest rates, and support economic development makes P2P lending a valuable addition to a well-rounded investment strategy. With a thoughtful approach and diligent research, investors can harness the potential of P2P lending to generate substantial income and achieve long-term financial goals. Chapter 6. Royalties from Intellectual Property Intellectual property IP encompasses intangible assets resulting from creativity and innovation, such as patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. Investing in IP can be an often overlooked but highly lucrative strategy for diversifying your portfolio and generating a consistent income. Royalties from intellectual property provide a steady revenue stream, making them an attractive option for investors seeking passive income. A lesson 1. Types of Intellectual Property Royalties Intellectual property royalties can be derived from various sources, each offering unique opportunities for income generation. Understanding the different types of IP and their potential for generating royalties is crucial for making informed investment decisions. Copyright Royalties Copyright protects original creations such as books, music, films, software, and more. When creators are granted exclusive rights to their work, 
they can earn royalties whenever it is used or reproduced. For instance, musicians receive royalties from streaming platforms or record labels, while authors earn royalties from book sales. Investors can tap into this revenue stream by acquiring rights to music catalogs, publishing rights, or even self-publishing their own works. The rise of digital platforms has expanded the opportunities for generating copyright royalties with e-books, online courses, and software programs providing additional avenues for income. Patent royalties. Patents protect inventions and grant exclusive rights to the inventor for a specific period. These rights can be licensed to others for commercial use, allowing companies or individuals to earn royalties. For example, pharmaceutical companies generate significant royalties by licensing their patented drugs to other manufacturers. Investing in patent royalties offers a diverse range of income sources, from groundbreaking medical devices to innovative manufacturing processes. Conducting thorough due diligence on the patent's market potential and competitive landscape is essential before making an investment. Trademark royalties. Trademarks are symbols, logos, or names that differentiate and symbolize a brand. Trademark owners can license their trademarks to other businesses, allowing them to use the brand identity in exchange for royalties. This is common in licensing agreements between sports teams and merchandise manufacturers. Investing in trademark royalties provides a consistent income stream with minimal ongoing involvement. The growing demand for brand protection in the digital marketplace further enhances the potential for generating trademark royalties. Franchise royalties. Franchising involves granting others the right to operate under an established brand and business system. Franchisees pay ongoing royalties to the franchisor in exchange for using their intellectual property, brand recognition, and marketing support. Investing in franchise royalties can be highly profitable, especially with well-known and successful franchises. It's crucial to evaluate the franchise's history, financial performance, and level of support provided by the franchisor before making an investment. Lesson 2. Evaluating Intellectual Property Investments Before investing in intellectual property, it's essential to conduct thorough evaluations to ensure a wise use of capital. Consider the following factors when assessing potential IP investments. Market Potential Evaluate the demand and potential of the IP asset in the market. Is there a demand for the product or service it represents? Perform market research and analyze industry trends to assess its potential. A competitive advantage. Identify the distinctive qualities and advantages of the IP asset. Are there any barriers preventing others from easily copying or infringing upon the asset? Assess the asset's capacity for generating profits over the long term. Legal considerations. Seek the assistance of a knowledgeable intellectual property attorney to perform the necessary research and safeguard the legal protection of the IP asset. Consider any possible legal risks, such as the presence of conflicting patents or trademarks. Revenue generation. Evaluate the possible sources of income related to the intellectual property asset. Will it generate income through licensing, royalties, or direct sales? Assess the potential earnings and the reliability of its revenue sources in management and maintenance. Consider the resources and expertise needed to effectively manage and maintain the IP asset. Are additional investments required to protect or enhance its value? Assess the expenses related to upkeep and potential dangers of obsolescence. Exit strategy. Create a clear plan for exiting the IP investment. Consider the length of time you plan to hold the asset and investigate different exit strategies, such as selling it or licensing it to a larger company. Lesson 3. Managing Intellectual Property Investments Effectively managing intellectual property investments involves a proactive approach to protect and enhance the value of the IP asset. This includes regular monitoring of the asset's performance, staying informed about industry trends, and adapting to changes in the market. Lesson 4. Licensing and Royalties Agreements Licensing agreements are a common way to generate income from intellectual property. These agreements grant another party the right to use the IP asset in exchange for royalty payments. Understanding the key components of a licensing agreement is crucial for maximizing returns and protecting your interests. Key components of licensing agreements. Grant of rights. Clearly define the scope of the rights being granted, including the duration, territory, and any limitations on usage. Royalty structure. Establish the royalty rate, payment terms, and reporting requirements. 
Consider whether the royalties will be a fixed amount, a percentage of sales, or a combination of both. Quality control. Implement provisions to ensure the licensee maintains the quality and integrity of the IP asset. Termination clauses. Include conditions under which the agreement can be terminated, such as breach of contract or non-payment of royalties. Dispute resolution. Outline the process for resolving any disputes that may arise during the term of the agreement. Lesson 5. Leveraging digital platforms for IP income. The digital age has opened up new opportunities for generating income from intellectual property. Online platforms and marketplaces provide creators and investors with global reach, enabling them to monetize their IP assets more effectively. Digital content and streaming. Digital content, such as ebooks, music videos, and online courses, can be distributed through various online platforms, generating royalties from sales, subscriptions, and advertisements. Streaming services offer additional revenue streams for content creators. E commerce and online marketplaces. E commerce platforms and online marketplaces allow IP owners to sell products directly to consumers, expanding their market reach and increasing revenue potential. Leveraging these platforms can significantly enhance the profitability of intellectual property investments. Investing in intellectual property can be a highly rewarding strategy for generating passive income and building long-term wealth. By understanding the different types of IP assets, conducting thorough evaluations, and effectively managing and licensing these assets, investors can unlock substantial income streams. The rise of digital platforms and the growing importance of intellectual property in the global economy present unique opportunities for savvy investors. With a proactive approach and a clear understanding of the potential and risks, intellectual property can be a valuable addition to a diversified investment portfolio. Final words. Investing in income-producing assets is a powerful strategy for achieving financial freedom and building long-term wealth. Throughout this guide, we have explored various avenues for generating passive income, from online businesses and franchises to dividend stocks, high-yield bonds, peer-to-peer -peer lending, and intellectual property. Each of these asset classes offers unique opportunities and potential returns, allowing you to diversify your investment portfolio and reduce risk. The key to successful investing lies in education, research, and a proactive approach. By setting clear financial goals, understanding the risks and rewards associated with each type of investment, and staying informed about market trends and economic conditions, you can make well-informed decisions that align with your financial objectives. Diversification is essential for managing risk and ensuring a balanced investment strategy. Spreading your investments across various asset classes and industries helps protect against market volatility and economic downturns, providing multiple income streams that can enhance your financial security. It's also important to remember that building wealth through income-producing assets requires patience, discipline, and continuous monitoring. Regularly review your investment portfolio, make necessary adjustments based on performance and market conditions, and seek guidance from financial advisors or experts when needed. As you embark on your journey towards financial freedom, keep in mind the potential tax advantages and benefits of reinvesting your income to compound your returns. By leveraging the power of passive income, you can create a reliable financial foundation that supports your long-term goals and provides you with the flexibility and stability needed to enjoy life to the fullest. Thank you for taking the time to explore the world of income-producing assets. We hope this guide has provided valuable insights and practical strategies to help you achieve your financial dreams. Here's to your success and prosperity on the path to financial independence.